Hey everyone, welcome to the channel and today's video is going to be sponsored. It is sponsored by a company named Tool Guards. They reached out to me, wondered if I would use and, and review one of their rooftop cargo bags, which I needed one at the time that they reached out to me. So that's what this video is about. And so stay tuned for more information about this product. Okay, so let's first start out by taking a look at the, the bag itself and some of the features on it. So first of all, it's made of a kind of a rubberized, it feels like a rubberized uh, tarp material. And this is part of what helps keep everything dry inside. You can see it's it's got connection points. It's got front and side connection points as well as a D-ring, which I really enjoy the fact that they put this D-ring on here as well. And I'll get into why in just a little bit. It has a flap that covers the zipper. And the zipper is kind of that um, tarp material as well, or the rubberized tarp material and it's sealing. It has a, has a sealing overlay to it. So not only is water not gonna get through the zipper this way, but then you have a flap that goes over the zipper that Velcros to the bottom that will keep it protected as you're traveling down the road as well. Um, it's a back load, so the, you load it, you can stand on your tailgate and you can load it from the back, which uh, for my purpose is awesome. And it is also, in the front, it's, it's kind of an aerodynamic shape. And I'll get into all that in a little bit. But those are the main key features that I like about this. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about some things that I'm not crazy about. Okay, before I close this up, I wanted to show you how much I was able to pack into this. This is um, this model is 15 cubic feet. They also have a 20 cubic feet model, but that would not necessarily fit on my roof rack here. So that's why I went with this one. Okay, so the truck is still a cluttered mess, but now I've gotten rid of, it was stacked up to about here. And now I've gotten rid of all that stuff out of the back and I've put it up top. And it's stuff that I don't, care happens to sleeping bags um yeah camp chair tarps things like that so for right now this is good because when i get to camp i just pull out my mattress move stuff aside still and uh and get to sleep so now let's get into a little bit of the data this this review has gone on way too long but let's get into a little bit of the data because i am a professional youtuber and reviewer, obviously, I'm going to read what they sent me. Uh, 15 cubic feet, as I said, 51.1 inches long, 31.4 inches wide, and 14.9 inches high. Um, it weighs about nine pounds. It's made of a heavy duty coated tarp, pollen and fabric guarded coated zippers for 100% waterproof protection. They say trustworthy clips and straps, uh, don't know that designed to fit in a variety of vehicles it has a bonus protection mat which I showed you earlier it keeps your roof safe um, and they also said that there's a product link with a discount code for uh, all my listeners or all my whoever you are <laughs> and I will put it down in the description below uh, if you want to save some extra money on this they also have a 20 foot uh, 20 cubic foot and they did not send me those but you can find those on the Amazon link I'm sure they didn't send me those uh, specs I should say so to end this video because it's gone on way too long I'm gonna set up my GoPro on my roof rack and I'm gonna I'm gonna drive and give you a sense of if this thing shifts or not with the actual straps on it I'm not gonna add anything to it and we'll just end it there um, I recommend this product as a short term. I'm not sure about long term, but I would definitely recommend it for a couple of seasons if you're going out on a trip. Uh, that's how I intend to use it when I go out west uh, next year. So take that for what you what you want. And uh, the prices, um, I'll put the prices down below, but keep in mind you do get a discount link all, as well. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry this has gone on so long, but uh, get out there and explore and we'll see you later.